Cool. All right, everyone. Um, welcome to Workout Wednesday. So it's going to be a slightly different uh, session. It's going to be following on from what um, Alex um, did last Wednesday, looking at a good and a bad week. Um, and now we're going to be following on, just getting a bit of rationale of how you manage your training load. Um, so how do you understand what is a hard session, uh, what is an easier session, and how much time you need to recover? And we're, we're going to be working together uh, today with, with Matt Barton, who um, is very knowledgeable. Hi, Matt. You are right? How are you? Good yeah, to see you. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's really good. Although it's raining outside, so I'm, you know, otherwise we could have done it outside. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, uh, but, but Matt is very experienced in this, and uh, I think he's probably had, has, has, a, has that experience because he probably did also a few mistakes in the past, as we all did, and that's what we learned from. But Matt is going to talk us through this today. Um, we're going to be looking at, um, for you to understand the session load and the volume, and also the implications of planning for your week. And that's really important, that planning for your week. And... This all relates back to the Sway resource that you have got available. So you can go on there, look at the Sway resource, and there are loads of stuff on there. But we want to talk you to one, through one specific week, which is the intermediate week number seven. And you have to do five sessions. So just you have to do five sessions. And you're sailing as well on the weekend, and you're going to put some rest in. And we know that you are uh, either going to be at school or you're going to be at university. So you, you have to put these sessions in. Um, and to give you a little bit, little bit more of an example and to illuminate the whole process, we're going to be using some, um, some cups um, to fill up with a bit of water to, to show you how much, these, how much volume these sessions have. Now, we have to put these five sessions in there. And I'm going to ask Matt when he's going to choose to do these sessions and why he's going to choose to do these sessions. Matt, you ready? I'm ready. Hit cool. me. Here we go. So Matt, let's have a look at, at, uh, at Monday. So you've just been sailing. I mean, it's been hard, okay? Let's just say there, there wasn't any wind. You've been basically pumping for two days. How do you feel on Monday? So yeah, if, if we've done pumping all over the weekend, we're gonna be pretty shattered. Uh, we're gonna be hurting. I think I choose to have Monday as a rest day. Okay, so, so Okay, that's, that, I think that's a good idea, but um, you know, if, if I, I'm just thinking, I just want to get it done, okay? I'm just going to put like two sessions in so I can have maybe um, uh, Thursday and Friday off. Why, why Monday as a rest day? What, what is your rationale behind that? Okay, so if, if we take this example of the cup being a total training load we can manage, um, you can see there's already some in the bottom mitt. That's what we're saying is school work. So all the cups have stuff in it. So that's what school work is at the moment. And we've come off a weekend, as I said, it's pretty been an intense weekend. So already we've had a lot of train load and we're pretty fatigued. So our cup is already almost full. If we were to do any harder exercise or any of the sessions that we had planned in our week, then we're probably going to be blowing out and overflowing the glass, which is not what we want to do at the start of the week. When you overflow the glass, I mean, you're, you're risking injuries and we don't want that. Yeah. Okay, so that's, I think that's, that's great about Russian R. So we take Monday off, okay? And by, by Monday off, we don't mean going out for cycle rides or having a, a, a rest session, which we often hear, you know? It's actually yeah. taking off and just relax, maybe do some stretching, which is useful. Okay, so coming to Tuesday, what, what is us on Tuesday? How would you feel on Tuesday? Okay, so with, with Tuesday, if we take into account from, we've just had a rest day yesterday, and if that's done properly, we should have a pretty empty glass, probably about there. And so with that in mind, I probably try and do the hardest session, which is the high strength session. Um, that takes a long time to recover. And I probably also make it a double session day because I've obviously got a quite empty glass. Yeah, that's, I, I think that's a good rationale behind that. So, um, so why would you do the hardest one? Um, you know, why not do the longest one? So, okay, so the, the, the hardest one, the, the strength session takes the longest time to recover. It can take 48 hours to recover from a strength session. Um, so if I, let me fill in for strength. So the strength session is pretty tough. It probably puts us to, to about just under two thirds. Yeah. Um, and, What's really nice is about doing a double session that day is that 
the threshold medium CV session. It's quite short, quite intense, but it mirrors the adaptation so that the strength session does really well. So if we're looking at pairing sessions, that's probably a good day to do it. And we wouldn't top out our training load, but it would certainly be a hard day and we would definitely be nearing the top of our cup. Absolutely, Matt. You're exactly, exactly right. You have the, the two sessions together that, that, uh, that are working together well with regards to adaptations and they don't contradict each other. Um, and so on this day, it might be a hard day, but still we will get the right adaptations from that. And now, um, yes, you might be feeling a bit tired. So when we come to Wednesday, what would you do on a Wednesday? Okay, so Wednesday, we're, we're pretty taxed. We've had a big day. We're probably nearing half full. This is where I would like to do my, my low intensity, long duration um, cardio session. So um, we look at 90 minutes of steady state. And it's really important at this day, you're staying at a constant heart rate or RPE um, so you don't overdo it with this cut. The adaptations we want need to be at low intensity. Although it's a long time, the intensity is not there. So actually, it isn't too taxing. Um, so I'd say that's at two thirds full probably that day. How do you normally feel after like a, a kind of a recovery, I wouldn't say recovery, but an endurance session? Um, How's your mood afterwards? How do you feel afterwards? Personally, I feel absolutely great after that. Like a lot of people, the hardest thing is, is the boredom aspect. Yeah. Um, but as soon as you get comfortable with those longer duration, you work up to them. You mentally, because you're not, you know, super intense, you mentally feel refreshed. And as long as you fueled correctly, they are a really good exercise to do after quite a big strength day. I think, Matt, you're, you're spot on there, you know. I think if you can do a 90, a 90 minutes endurance session, then you should be feeling really good, good afterwards. But if you do 90 minutes and, you, and, you, and you're pushing towards threshold, which athletes always like to do, we like to work, yeah. hard, work hard, every day work hard, then you tend, to be, you tend to be quite tired afterwards and probably you're still increasing that fatigue that you had beforehand and you don't allow your body to fully recover. So that's a good session. So now we've got two sessions left for Thursday and Friday. Think, tell yeah. me, tell me t talk to me about your rationale and what you want to do on Thursday. Okay, so Thursday, I would probably do the medium conditioning, high intensity circuit okay. training kind of day. Why, why is that? So, um, we, we, I, I, I'll be pretty recovered feeling from that. So, with school, I'll probably be probably quite fresh. And this is where I'm thinking more for the weekend. I want to be going into my sailing on Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. as recovered as I possibly can. So this is where I've got quite an empty glass. I'm going to do the harder of the two remaining sessions, which is that high intensity circuit. And that will probably bring me up in terms of training load to about just under two thirds full. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, that's probably what I choose to do that's, then. Again, good rationale because you, you, you have like 42 hours to fully recover from that, from that session before you're going to go um, and, have to, and, and have to train. Um, yeah. so now we come to Friday, um, one session left. Um, how would you feel after that session? So th this one's quite hard, but hopefully with, um, you know, with, with the days prior to it, you shouldn't be too taxed still. Um, yeah. and, and all we've got to do now is the medium strength. So we, we're probably dropping down the weight we're using, maybe increasing the rep, number of reps yeah. and, and focusing on the core work. And so this session isn't as hard. So we're probably only topping up to about half full. Yeah. The main reason I'm thinking here is I'm trying to complete all the important um, sessions that I need to do, but I don't want to be too full on my glass on Friday. So I'm fresh for the sailing at the weekend. And for example, if you do that, if you do that session on a, on a Friday morning, you still got um, 20, 24 hours to recover and, and it exactly. drops down even further. Now, let me ask you, like, if, if you would have been really if, if you put up would have put up filled up your glass or your day on friday really hard and, and, and up to the top to maximum what would be the the consequence for the weekend for sailing so there's so so many issues with doing that and it's a mistake that's very easy to make of overloading the back of the week not only would you go into your sailing not fresh so you'd be fatigued going in you're increasing your risk of injury but more critically, perhaps, than all of that is 
When you then come around to Monday, you're even more tired. And then perhaps that has a knock-on effect on Tuesday. And the most critical thing with all training is the consistency of long weeks. So if you do too much on the Friday or too much in one week, you're going to miss sessions in the next week and then you're going to decrease your progress. Fantastic. Great. Let's just see how it all looks on screen or a week. Oops. Here we go. So we've put that in. We've got rest, high strength, medium, medium CV, medium conditioning and medium strength. And then we have sailing on Saturday and Sunday. And that's, that's really our rationale behind how we structure a week with different exercises, uh, different exercise programs with different sessions and different loads. Um, so it's really important that you get a little bit of an understanding of that. And hopefully um, this work on Wednesday has helped you to understand a little bit our rationale of how we want to put these sessions with different session loads into the week so that we are still 100% fit and be able to make good decisions and to be able to sell well over the weekend. Matt, have you got anything else to, to, to add to that? No, um, no, thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. Oh, fantastic, Matt. You've been absolutely great and uh, absolutely fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any more questions, um, either contact us or but have a look at the Sway resource. There's loads of stuff on there and, um, and there's loads of rationales, loads of exercises, loads of sessions. And hopefully you'll understand them a little bit better now. All right, till, till next Wednesday. Cheers. Cheers, bye. <laughs>